One of the fun things about um, pastoring a church and getting to do stuff like that is around Christmas time, things just get so pretty and festive and spirits rise and it's just a wonderful thing. And so today in about mm, 45 minutes, I'm gonna meet a bunch of the ladies over at the church and we're gonna decorate the church and it is so much fun. So I'm gonna vlog a little bit of that. I don't know what I'm gonna get away with because some of these ladies don't like to be filmed, but at the very least, I'll show you the decorations. So we got the ladies together and we decorated. They didn't want to be filmed, so that's fine, but I just love Christmas time. Even if they're just little tiny touches. Our beautiful Christmas tree. That is so pretty when the lights are off, but we can't leave the lights off. Isn't that nice? We don't really go overboard on the decorations, but it's nice just to have a few touches. Good morning. Okay, it's time to get up. I am at the parsonage and I have a lot to do today. I'm gonna to be here part of this week. So it's gonna be another long week for me, but I am really tired, but I need to get up. It's late and it's dark and I have things to do. So I'm going to bring you along with me today. We're just going to vlog. I have some writing to do. I have to edit down a manuscript today. And I've got some other things that I want to do. So, um, yeah. Time to make the coffee. Okay. Ugh, coffee first. Perfection. Mm. Okay, so we're going with a little <clears throat> informal today and we're gonna enjoy this coffee. I stepped outside and man, it's snowing. It's gonna be snowing for the next few days, but I'm gonna be inside mostly today. I do have to pop over next door here in a little while, but um, Let's start with the coffee. <laughs> it appears that if this snow keeps coming down, I may be stuck up here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's time for some breakfast slash lunch. This is really yummy. It's a Parmesan pasta and it's super, super good. I like simple foods, things that are easy, small, um, so, 
And then we just gotta let it set for about 10 minutes and it'll be awesome. Okay, so I've decided that I'm gonna go for a walk in some of the snow. So I'm gonna get bundled up because it's coming down pretty bad out there. I had to go out and get my winter boots out of the car and they're in the next room warming up because they were pretty cold. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead, ow, get ready to go. So pull some pins out of the hair and it's really hard to wear a hat with your hair in a ponytail, so just knock all that down and oh, oh, this is a nice hat. It's velvet lined. It's really cool. So, but I'm going to go for a walk. I need to get some exercise anyway because I ate my lunch and pasta always makes you feel a little heavy, but um. So I'm going to go put my boots on and go outside, probably walk over to the church. Um, I should probably take that other equipment with me and test it since I need to test it in the sanctuary over there anyway. We've been trying to figure out how to stream our church services with better sound quality and stuff. So I ordered some equipment and last night I finally figured out how it all went together. Took a while. Apparently, I needed some itty bitty adapter. The sucker was like that big, just teeny weeny little thing. So, I think I'm going to take the bag and I'll just walk over there and that'll give me some exercise. It'll give me a break from a screen. And um, I'll just go from there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but I'm going to go get some boots on. Hopefully, my boots are warm. <laughs> Okay, huge warm coat, and this coat has a benefit. This is a self-heating jacket, so this whole jacket will warm up. And so it, I bought it a size too big because I like to wear layers under it. It's actually a man's coat, but it's made by Milwaukee, which is a fantastic company. They make the best tools and stuff. I really like the Milwaukee brand. No, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like Milwaukee brand. <laughs> so, but they made the coat, they make tools, they make all kinds of stuff. But this is this self-heating jacket. It warms all the way around. It's awesome. So this is my go-to, but I'm gonna walk over to the church and I'm gonna take my bag with me. And we're gonna test some equipment and maybe show you some of the snow along the way. <laughs> okay, come with me. Okay, so it is really deep. <laughs> um, the snow is probably about six inches by now. Um, it's just gonna continue to come down, but it's super pretty. I love the snow and it's really actually not that cold. It's only probably, I don't know, 31, 32 degrees. It's just cold enough that this isn't turning into rain. And ideally we want it to stay that way because if this turns into rain, all of the snow you see in front of you on this road will turn to slush and then tonight when the temperatures drop will turn to ice which will make for deadly road conditions. It's easier to drive on powdery snow than it is ice. Someone else out enjoying the weather? <laughs> Good morning! I'm definitely gonna have to get someone out here to plow the parking lot of my church. My goodness.
The snow is definitely deeper here in the parking lot than it is over at the house. But there's hardly anything to shade. <laughs> there's no trees to block the snowfall, so. Yep, that's deep. Okay, so it's been about two or three hours and I have tested every possible scenario to try to get everything to work and I did get it to work. The problem is, is whenever I start playing my piano, it garbles the sound really bad. So I don't know if my keyboard is overpowering. Um, even when you don't use the microphones that I tested, no matter if you record, if you stream yard, you, no matter what you do, the minute I start playing music, it garbles when I try to stream. So... I hooked it up every different way. I adjusted all the settings. I did all the things and I, I couldn't solve that problem. And then when the camera is too close to the front of the stage, it's a 50 uh, megapixel camera. So it should work really well. But when I set it to stream, it pixelates really bad and it makes you look like you have the shadow around you. It's really kind of disconcerting. So it didn't work out really well. So I think what I'm going to do is when you just record, it's it's fine. So I think what I'm going to have to do is instead of stream our Sunday services, they are streamed on two platforms on Facebook. So um, you can just look up River of Life Assembly of God in Nanilchik, Alaska, and you can actually watch them on two different platforms. It should come up showing that they're running live on Sunday mornings. But for our YouTube channel, I think I'm going to have to just record and then after church upload it. So hopefully by Sunday night, everybody will get to watch Sunday morning service until I can find a better solution. Um, but we did this as least expensive as we could. We had a budget of about $500. So um, the Movo microphones are amazing. And the camera that I'm using is brand new. It's a cell phone that's got like all this high tech ability, but for some reason it's not accepting the sound of music very nicely. And when it's too close to the stage, it makes you look wonky. So anyway, um, I'm going to go home. Well, I'm going to go back to the parsonage. So, <laughs> and I think I'll wait until it stops snowing entirely to shovel all of this off um, Sunday service. These stairs have to be absolutely clean and we ice melt everything. Our ramp has to be accessible, clear out to the parking lot. So I'll do that probably tomorrow or I'll come back Friday early and hopefully the snow will have stopped. Um, it has stopped for now, but rumor has it, it's gonna start again. And them clouds look incredibly heavy, so. Let's go back to the parsonage and work on the other project I was supposed to work on. <laughs> but one of our ladies at church came and checked on me. So these are her tire tracks, I'm guessing. <laughs> and I just walk. I, I, don't, I don't need to drive everywhere. I'm literally 150 foot away from where I'm going. Oh, good. 
goodness. Such a beautiful day though. I mean, it's it feels like it dropped to about 25, but it still feels really good. Like it's just the air is crisp and lovely and fresh and just really nice. And being this close to the ocean, um, the air closer to an ocean is ionized better. So it's actually better, the air is actually better for you. <laughs> A lot of people like to live by the ocean because they just feel healthier and have better oxygen. So, um, but where I am currently standing, if I go in that direction, not even a quarter mile, I'll be on the edge of a bluff. Straight down the bluff, you can go to the ocean. So it's literally just through them trees. So. And there's my tracks going back. I'll just follow my tracks back. <sighs> Alright, I'm in for the rest of the night. <sighs> I'm gonna get comfy. Oh my goodness. Okay, starting with his hair. We're just gonna cheat. And throw this mess in a ponytail because I don't have anybody to impress. And if the dust bunnies don't like it, I'm a little tough on them. Okay. Okay, so. I'm gonna get comfy and I've got to get back to this editing project I'm working on and I'm kind of cold. <laughs> it's great though. I mean, being outside is so exhilarating and the fresh air is nice and walking through the snow is actually gives you really good exercise because it's not like walking on flat ground. You are literally contending with tension against your body when you're walking and weight on your feet and you're wearing far more clothing than you normally would in the summertime. So it's actually exercise. <laughs> And it's good, it keeps you cool. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. My snack, cookies and milk, don't judge. Anyway, as part of the project I'm working on, I am actually editing the draft of a book um, for a friend. Um, she's lived an incredible life and I've read some of her little stories and this is just lots and lots of them. And the book is gonna be fully illustrated of which I will provide um, links to it as soon as it does hit publication, but this is amazing. And so I'm going to finish this and get it edited and it's going to be awesome. But I have a whole box of cookies and no, I won't eat them all in one night, but I think I'm going to have me a couple more cookies because I'm starting to drag a little and I know I'm in for a long night. So I'm sitting on my bed this room is such a mess. I live in this room temporarily every weekend, so it just tends to be a mess. But this is something that I do. I, I like to edit. I've written a couple of books myself. I've just never published. Um, maybe someday. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. Just sitting here typing and editing and doing my thing. Okay. Morning two. I really need the coffee maker. Lights are pretty good here. Where's the light switch? Ow, that was unkind. Okay, I, I need coffee. I'll be right back with you, I promise. Okay, so I'm gonna make some coffee. Um, just as soon as I figure out where I put my cup. Um, last night for dinner, after I was working on the manuscript, I got like halfway through it last night, and then for dinner I made stuffing and chicken. <laughs> you think I'd had enough of that after Thanksgiving, but I really like stuffing and chicken is something that I can eat. There's a lot of things that I can't eat. So anyway, I'm going to make some coffee. Um, where's my cup? Oh, there it is. See, same old cup. Boss lady. So I have to make this look like that. 
Um, I think we're just going to stay simple today. I just looked outside and we're sitting at about 26 degrees outside. Apparently it warmed up through the night enough that some of the snow turned to rain, which means when I go outside to shovel today, it's going to be an absolute unmitigated, heavy packed snow mess. So that's going to be that. <laughs> nothing more amazing to me <laughs> at least at this hour than that first sip of coffee it just touches your tired grouchy soul wakes you up makes you ready to face ugh, the other half of a manuscript that we got to do today but I think I'm gonna start today first I'm gonna call a friend and have a long chit chat with her and just give myself time to wake up and function because I'm tired and if I learned anything from college, it was that if you're this tired and you're trying to edit, you're going to miss something. So I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to call a friend, send my text message to my husband and tell him good morning because he's at work or should be getting ready for work or on his way to work. Either way, he's at home. I'm here. And this has been a weird week all the way around. So I also decided while I'm down here that I'm going to prep all the music for the rest of the month because I got a lot happening this month and a lot to do and I just feel like my days are flying by so fast there's just not enough hours in them so when I was at home last week um, I just took each day each day had a chore on it stuff that had to be done like the floor and the dining room being replaced and things like that and the downstairs need to be organized the, the mechanical room had to be overhauled so each day we would take one of those major chores and we just did them so down here I'm doing the same thing knocking off project by project by project getting them over with so I can at least rest and relax around holiday and when I get home we are going to be putting in the new kitchen floor because I was actually supposed to be doing that tomorrow but I'm not gonna probably be home until tomorrow so Anyway, it'll all get done. In the meantime, good morning. Well, sounds like a plan. Yeah? <laughs> well, do what you gotta do to make things happen. That's how it works. So I had a chat with my friend this morning and now it's time to get to work. So today's goal is to get the other half of that manuscript finished and since I'm not going anywhere immediately, I think I'm not going to bother doing the hair and all that because I want to take a shower but I want to do that a little later so we're just going to do typing and reading and more of the same. So I have this horrible habit of just walking into the parsonage and since I'm usually only here for a few days, I just kind of drop everything and wherever it lands, it lands and I just deal with it. And then when I change, I get dressed in such a hurry, everything ends up on the dresser. And usually when I'm here, I'm not here for this long, but this is a mess. This is an unmitigated disaster that I've managed to create inside of the last four days. So, <laughs> okay, let's clean. Okay, much better. 
cleaned, tidied, organized, and ready to start work. Well, as this day carries on, so does the snow. It just keeps coming down. My poor little car. But it is so beautiful. Okay, so back to work for the other half of this editing project. Today's snack our little Stouffer whales. They're kind of like goldfish, only I like them better. Well, good morning again. Uh, I think I'm on day number three. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night because I did some massive overhaul of this uh, draft. But have coffee. I know the lights are off in here, but I am going to give this a final go over and then I'm supposed to go meet with the lady to whom this draft even belongs. So I'm going to finish the coffee and yeah, go meet her and hopefully wake up because I'm really tired. So the neatest thing just happened. I was having my coffee and working on the manuscript and I got a text message from one of the guys at our church and his wife had made mention that she was really unhappy with the tires on my car. Um, I drive a little Ford C-Max in Alaska, I know probably not the brightest thing, but it has all weather tires on it and they were put on just this last summer. But um, apparently she was just not happy with my tires, worried about my safety and I, I love that, that people in my church worry about me. But her and her husband ordered more tires for my car that have studs on them because I drive such long distances between my home and here. It's 55 miles from door to door and that's one way. So I do this every weekend and um, anyhow, so they ordered tires and John just texted me and said, you know, is your car here? Are you still here? And I said, yeah, my car's here. He goes, well, your tires are in. I was like, what? I didn't order tires. And he said that he and his wife had ordered tires for my car. And I was like, oh, that is so awesome. So I told them thank you, that I was very grateful for that. Um, but I guess I walk, when I get down here, I park my car and I walk everywhere because the distance is so short, there's no need to drive. And in reality, if you're driving, you're spending money and I try not to spend money. So um, it, it was just really neat. So I guess they're gonna come get my car at some point. Um, I'm supposed to meet up with the lady who belongs to this book. I'm about to, I got the manuscript done. I'm about to design the cover. She sent me the pictures and the fonts and all the things. So I'm gonna make two or three choices for her. And um, hopefully we can get the one that she really wants to work, but if not, I wanna have a second choice for her. So anyway, I'll let you know how this goes. So this is fun. I'm working on my book cover for this. And the only light is that of my computer because of where I'm sitting. So, since the power is out and it is gradually getting colder, I think I'm going to put some more layers on and um, call it a day until such time as the power comes back on. I should probably go clean my car off, so might as well. Can't do much more with this. So I came outside, because it's dark in there, to clean my car off and shovel the driveway because it's still light out. Um, but when I came out, the only thing I had to do was clear my car off because someone had already plowed. Oh, that went. Wow, that went. Um, someone had already plowed my driveway and I didn't even hear it. So they must have done it while I was absolutely really a sleeper in the shower. <laughs> Since my little car is just frozen as can be, I got all the snow off of it. I'm going to let it run for a little while and get some of this ice off of it. <laughs> just completely coated just coated in ice but the lovely thing was is somebody plowed my driveway that was awesome I am so happy about that it saved me a lot of work <laughs> so thank you whoever did my driveway okay so I have come to the end of it's Thursday now I've been here for almost a week tomorrow will be well I guess a week um, but I'm going to go ahead and stay on through the weekend, through Monday. There's no sense in driving home for one day just to drive back tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and stay. But um, I just finished uh, the edit and the upload and the publishing of my friend's book. And as soon as it is available, it takes 72 hours. I will put the link in the description. And it is 
amazing. The book is called Alaskan Frosty Tales by Birch Ann Allen. And it is the funniest read you will probably ever read. It is very funny. It's a very short book, but it is well worth it. So as soon as it's available, I highly recommend it if you need a good laugh. Okay, so I think I'm going to bring an end to this video. I am done. The uh, book is published. It was a joy to see the look on my friend's face when it was uploaded and it'll be, you know, she was told it's going to be available and she's officially a published author. You should have seen the happiness in her face. It was amazing. Um, but I think I'm done. I've definitely had my fill of computers, but I learned some lessons in this. I, I learned how to use some technologies. Um, I had to get the help of a couple of ladies who are very good with PDFs and things, which I've never been very good at. And so it, it was really neat. I got to meet some new people today in the process of all this. And I went out to lunch and ate some kind of cheesy tortellini, bacony. I don't know what it was, but it was delicious. Um, but that's what I did today. But I think I'm done. I think my week is done. And it's it's been a blessing to get to do this and a privilege to get to do this for this lady. It was awesome. But um, I think I'm just going to take the next few days and chill out. The only thing I have left to do is to plan music for Sunday. And um, yeah, done and done. See you on the next.